Well, damn well, you've never even seen a Native American. <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> I get that shit everywhere I go. They come up to me speaking Spanish and I'm like, I failed that shit three times, bro. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck you're saying. I grew up in Richmond, California, man. It's a rough city, man. My high school didn't have a football team for five years because we didn't have enough students with a C average to make a team. <laughs> Now, to see us stuff for cocaine, we'd have made steaks, right? The only questions we got right on the test were about weights and measures, right? How many grams an ounce? 28. How many ounces in a pound? 16. Who invented the telephone? Ah, oh, shit. Start cheating, eh? Hey, you make it to number three yet? Uh, yeah, it was Motorola. <laughs> The one guy who got it, thank you. You're old enough to know what pagers are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was, it was just a high school full of dummies, right? But our chemistry class made the best method in town, man. No bullshit. <laughs> you could not be the high from Richmond High, boy. I'm telling you. <laughs> like, we didn't have a team, but because of them, we had a mascot. It was a beaker, right? <laughs> Had yellow eyes and one tooth. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was a rough school, man. Prom, prom we had to have during school hours because half the school was on house arrest and couldn't come at night. <laughs> oh, it was rough, man. The king and queen were voted most likely to commit domestic violence. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty rough, man. One dude had the math team working for him. No, I'm lying. We didn't have a fucking math team. <laughs> we had two Asian girls, right? This is what he said to me one day. He was like, hey, man, the Lee twins are greedy, man. They wanted 50% of my profit. But you know me, I talked them down to half. <laughs> Good job. Keep taking your math classes. But I'm not surprised high school was rough for me because I, I was a dumb kid, man. Look, I, I truly believe this. You know the reflectors that divide the lands on the highway? You run them over, they go do, 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 do. When I was five, I thought those were so blind people could drive. <laughs> no bullshit, right? I just thought blind people were out there. Oh, that must have been a turn. It was bad. Like, I didn't think it without reason, right? I had watched the episode of The Incredible Hope, and the blind kid was reading a book with just his fingers. And I asked my mother, I was like, what, what is that? And she explained it to me. There's bumps on the book so he, that he can read the book with his fingers. So the next time we were on the road, my dad hit some. I was like, hey, those are for blind people, right? It was bad. I thought, I was so dumb, I thought everything with bumps on it was for blind people. My mother caught me in the living room one day trying to read a pickle. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I was looking for. Like, there's some kind of hidden message on the pickle for blind people, right? <laughs> Start the cucumber challenge. <laughs> It was bad, man. I was. I was a dumb kid, man. It's like, no wonder my father hit me so much, right? My fa I had a, I had a, my mother was from Oklahoma. And, and my father was Japanese. My father was a Japanese country and western singer, y'all. No bullshit. He was born in 1933, so he had a career in like 1950, and he never got anywhere. Like, this motherfucker at the bar. <laughs> Like he's over here trying to hit on somebody half his age because this motherfucker is just dead in life. Motherfucker was late at the post office and said, fuck it, I'll go to the comedy show. <laughs> here you go, honey, here's your mail. <laughs> I'll buy that steak and food for less for you. <laughs> Alright, where was I when I got Distracted Japanese by the old tree. Oh yeah, Japanese country and western singer, right? In 1950, he tried to be this. You know the racism this man encountered? He went into Columbia Records and tried to get a record deal. They gave him a job as the fucking accountant. <laughs> it was like, why are you holding a guitar, son? You need a book. It's like, I'm here to sing. No, Asians, no, you Japanese, you can't do it. No, it was rough, though, because he was born during the Great Depression, right? He survived the Great Depression and the internment camps. 
So as a kid, I couldn't say I didn't want to eat shit, right? Hey, now he's gonna answer the phone. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> It's just the post office. I want to know why somebody didn't get their mail. <laughs> but, uh, but it was a trip, man. Like, we couldn't say we didn't like anything, right? Everything we ate, like, we had to eat it because he was fed rice and lima beans for three years straight. That's it. Nothing but rice and lima beans. So one night we were eating crab for dinner, and me and my brother were complaining about cleaning out the crab. You know, the green shit that's inside the crab. And he was like, you're lucky I don't do what your grandmother did to me. It was like, oh, shit. He said, she used to make a soup out of that shit, and we had to eat it. I was like, would you like me to clean yours as well, father? <laughs> like, motherfucker turned me British. I was like, fucking crab gut soup, fuck that. I'd have been like, take me back to the internment camps. They feed you better. <laughs> it was, man. It was rough growing up, man. I'm a huge pothead. Where my potheads at? We got to eat it. So, I gotta get out of here in a few minutes, but before I do, I gotta tell you about the most pothead shit I ever seen in my life, man. I was 16. It was me and my boy Jay that lived across the street. My boy Mike, he lived two houses up. Mike had the joint, he was like, that's how old we was, we smoked joints. Mike had the joint, he was like, hey Jay, your chihuahua still in heat, fool? <laughs> it's like, yeah, why? Wanna mate with my dad's great day? <laughs> It pays for making a new breed of dog called Great Chihuahuas for. <laughs> they look just like Chihuahuas, but they'll be other clothes. <laughs> you gonna hold her up so he can hit it. <laughs> so they go get the dog, right? They start. They start sniffing each other and shit, right? The dogs, not Mike and Jay. Although at this point, this shit would not have surprised me, right? He picked that dog up, I swear to God, like, just like he plugged that bitch in, he went. <laughs> and I felt bad, right? I was like, this has to be like the dog version of Shaq and his wife, right? This is fucked up. <laughs> the people, we have forgotten that when dogs get finished doing it, they get stuck. <laughs> we had a chihuahua hang with, hanging from a great day trying to get away, huh? And all you could hear was her claws hitting the concrete, right? <laughs> and the great day decides he wants to show this shit off, right? So he walks over to the neighbor's fence, looks at their dog, he's like, hey, come here, come here. <laughs> he came over, he hiked up his leg, he was like, check it out. <laughs> they went and bought me a pocket pussy, fool. <laughs> hey, you guys have been fun. That's my time. I'm going to